Oh, sorry guys, yeah, it's happening. Anyway, everyone shut up, we're moving. Um, yeah. Got tackle four base. Oh yeah, there was a globe, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we all go. Scout team for the Alright. Um, Joey, don't go too far. I got the scouting. Like, I got the beagle active probe and such. I'm waiting here for the max to catch up. On my way. I should be able to see them behind walls. Well, the fun part is I can't hear them because my headset is in a place that I can't get to at the moment. So, Just don't die this map. Stop you quick. TC. Yeah. Ivory Tower. You can take these hovercrafts that they have. And they can go wee all the way up. And then you're up in the thick of things. But they're short okay. range. Alright. So I don't think we'll be seeing much of that. Keep moving, we'll uh, NASCAR formation. Assume that they head to center base as you usually see your, One of these buttons does With something. Ah, there we are. Their lists are partially to the bottom. Sorry, I can't scroll in time. Let's get back to the. That's what we're playing. As yes, head to public. Five base, then head to their base, then, and you know. we have the two hovercrafts that are scouting for well, the big, on nasty of destroyer of world mechs. The game's mech warrior, but it's BattleTech, which means that you have hovercraft and tanks layer, so and <laughs> aircraft and jets and well. Just about everything in between. Very, very, very fun. This team is going to want a close range engagement, and they are going to want to make sure that they uh, are able to have everybody in the fight at once. Opposing them. Bit more tonnage. Bit more tonnage for all the players. A little more spread around. Well, they're not going to be there. That Ares is in the yeah, slouch. Yeah. Reelkins are always dangerous. That's and uh, that Shadow Cat. So, who's going to take this fight? Depends on where they end up and how well the team in purple lands the shots. This is Planet Genoa. Capella and Commonality trying to take out the, another backbone of Free Worlds League. If they get this planet, well, Free Worlds League is. Going to be throwing things at the wall, wondering what happens. The interesting thing about Genoa is that its supply routes are completely cut off for Free Worlds League. They were unable to put any reinforcements on there. Now, it was pretty well stocked with the total number of assets, but strategically, it didn't have a good balance of top to bottom yeah, go ahead and mechs and these. assets available to it. So, your That's list making is definitely a bit affected anywhere. here. Now... The nice thing is, is that some personal mechs have been available uh, to balance some of that out, but the Capellans are simply better supplied right now. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about it, especially considering that the Capellans have had the opportunity to uh, prepare uh, for this planet for a while. It was a bit of a surprise. The Free Worlds League definitely was not expecting an attack anytime soon on this particular planet, and... Uh, uh, their defense fleet will be hit heavily tomorrow when we wrap this up. This will be the final fight of the night. We did the testing on our second server, uh, trying to figure out what we're able to do with terrain control, what we're not able to do, and uh, there's enough there to do some interesting things. I think we'll be I able to slowly something. figure out our continuous drop mode uh, no over time. Uh, lots <laughs> and lots of balancing to do, though. So, uh, we are, yeah, I think that's a match. this is a 30-minute match, we're going to be a little bit less no, than that, and if you're just joining us now, uh, there is one match in front well, of this, uh, so Amazing feel free to watch that, and then we have the uh, test Did matches where we played uh, three short train control games I don't know what uh, with various fun. settings. Okay, very, very I special thanks to too. all these players, uh, uh, Bear, Bear, Architect, fun. Silver, Jamek, Joey. Um, we're all waiting very patiently today uh, for us to get our numbers up 
play. A special thanks to Tier and Burner. You can have your link go uh, and uh, Dap for coming in and, and uh, giving us maps. enough numbers to yeah. make these matches official. And uh, we will continue working hard. Our goal is to get Chaos March to the fifth anniversary in August. And how we get there uh, doesn't matter as long as we're having fun. And we're going to be working hard for you, the community. Uh, via the second server initiative to be able to run things uh, in addition to regular Chaos March drops, including rules changes uh, that need some testing, of course, and your contributions will still count towards the metagame. We are working out some of the details on that, but with the rulebook largely done uh, in its current form, we should be able to pass a amendments soon. And uh, we should have things run. So bear with yeah, us. As, uh, Bear's tank gets a little bit destroyed there, and uh, the sun slowly setting, not only on damage. the map but on another chaos day. I'm Mac Master, bringing you the games as only as I can. Uh, I don't know my schedule tonight. We may drop in five hours of pubbing after this. We may be done for the night after this. Not sure. Won't even mind trying some late night chaos time. again uh, tomorrow on Sunday. Probably not the uh, end there. We'll see, but uh, Get you up on radar. today was a challenge, and we would not have been able to play without uh, these players uh, taking time out of their schedule, <laughs> and uh, a few of them staying up a little bit past their bedtime Nothing so that they could play time. with us tonight. And uh, I don't care if it's 4v4 or 14 versus 14. I still love doing this, and we still have fun doing it. Exit the and uh, the pubs are yeah, alive. I have to wait for the harasser. Come over here. So no, that's good, the because when we started Chaos today, and for uh, no, 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 an hour, when we were uh, doing our tests, there was barely uh, up, seven... Six, like six to seven players on at one point four, so we sent oh, our shit. players yeah, in yeah, and uh, D Banal Pro uh, DAP. Yeah, got over here then. Uh, that 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 player so uh, just got viewed by the enemy they, and they, only they just now got shot. Contact. He's active. Uh, uh, they'll survive they after only taking a right medium me. beam, laser, right, and uh, it'll be interesting to see how they react. Closing a distance uh, over here to their positioning, so there. we're, uh, building a list that has 600 south, plus, Captain. about 600 no, meter range, okay. we're going to head uh, south. Bear Captain. has yeah, black, 900 black. range, actually, this thing has got 700, give okay. or take, so uh, they're yeah, prepared for a masters. ranged fight, uh, while the team on. they're facing, the Free Worlds League, is trying to get up close. One Problem for the Free Worlds League is northeast. that they can't take a lot of damage up front because contact, those you see me. This is our engagement. heavy mechs of theirs are very, very important to their fight. Uh, the it, harassers position. are going to Genic need to do a lot of damage uh, from them to, should go in first. to go there, uh, a bear, a sniper, uh, okay, moving in. did some training with him last week, okay. weekend, and uh, he's uh, kind of split awareness, up. He got some field tips why. and uh, applied them pretty well, uh, so we'll continue working there. Um, bear uh, has worked right. really hard right. to get to a point where uh, teams can uh, trust him to be able to shoot things, hit them, They're and uh, very slowly be able to spread uh, spread damage around. Ahead, and we'll uh, continue working there with Cap yeah, Bear, uh, the Architect Silver, uh, veterans right of the Chaos March and yeah. of okay, Pubs. Ready. Silver has been a faction leader for quite some time Once and again, uh, split first. some of the, I'm sure, split some of the uh, responsibilities today with. Architect, some of their decision making. Keep On the other running. side, okay. we've got Free Worlds League. Uh, that is, hill. give or take, okay. my department to prepare some of the faction leader things. Uh, that faction is just surprisingly still around, still putting up a good fight. But that often burner. is uh, I hand that off to mercenaries or whoever's available uh, to do it. We still At have some point, good, nice, balanced teams this. here ready to fight. So we're heading to the hill we uh, went up before? But Free World League definitely needed some 
tender, loving stuff. care to <laughs> been there get for too long. some things We're going to the balanced road. out with the strategy. And luckily there was uh, time to do that I with consultation right with the top secret consultant. Uh, okay, you're engaged. Uh, we'll look the free will see. So okay, we'll got conflict. Uh, conflict of interest and decision making. Well, exactly what Free World League doesn't didn't want to happen is happening. Okay. Bro, they are being smoked from long range. Bro, you should hear right And the uh, uh, fight is a bit up close. We're gonna try and focus some stuff down, but they it, it, it's very, very, very simple. Uh, they're fighting some nasty assets. They can still take this fight, but at the end of the day, uh, this is going to uh, for either team. They were able to get close. The harassers are doing their job. The uh, heavies are doing the best that they can, but those Ryokins are pretty fast moving. Uh, they do get bear down, so maybe they can take this, but uh, they're going to have to spread the damage. So the harassers are going to have to quickly they do get the spear's arm which takes away uh, a significant portion of the uh, firepower but they're doing significant damage and I'm be surprised to see a harass of top here rather quickly and uh this is not looking good uh for silver's team until that happened that will help them out greatly now they can start focusing damage on the heavies uh, this is all about the heavy at this point. Uh, they're down, they lost a lot of their range. Now they're going to up here. Joey is probably about to go down. Jamek is it's probably taking some right really good damage here. Uh, they do get here, but I do believe that they've taken some pretty good damage here. Uh, Silver really not much of a threat against the team at the moment. Uh, his teammate is Architect is in a Ryokin, and uh, unfortunately R-E-P-L-A-Y Y, because we have had a disconnect with a bloody and, um, well, it's gonna die. So, 